African Youth Union, in collaboration with the National Youth Council of Nigeria, today invite youth leaders across the African continent, and especially the West African region, to flag the first West Africa Youth Security Summit themed Regional Security Exploring the Youth Demography and its Assets for a Secured Region in Abuja. The summit had in attendance Comrade Ahmed Benin, Secretary General Pan African Youth Union, the host of occasion, Ambassador Sokubo, President National Youth Council of Nigeria, Permanent Secretary FCTA, Chief of Army Staff, Dr. Dixon Ako, DJP Score, and relevant stakeholders. While commending the efforts of the organizers of this occasion, some of the invited guests had the following to say. As change makers, must be to scale up meaningful youth engagement and participation anchored on a revitalized and durable spirit of volunteerism among fellow youth. African youth must birth a new impetus of solidarity to encapsulate a clear understanding of the aspirations of Agenda 2063 and Agenda 2030, which we know as the Global Goals of Sustainable Development. The summit is very significant and germane to the security challenges in the West African sub-region. We felt, for you to know the challenges you are having, youth leaders came from all over West African countries and beyond, but the, the presence of the government is not well felt. If our, the heads of our security agencies have the capacity to arrest youths on one only or for those who commit crime, they should be around to encourage the youths that gather to discuss the issue of security within the sub-region. And uh, my joy today is that most of the youths that came from the various West African countries, they are impressed with the turnout of their fellow youth from Nigeria. And uh, we expect that in subsequent programs like this, government should be at the forefront, even in terms of sponsoring, in order to encourage the youth to come together and always discuss the way forward rather than resorting into violence. The convener, Comrade Nihi Oladele, who is also the Vice President for an African Youth Union, while addressing the press says, youth are found both as perpetrators and victims and to change this narrative for a safe and secure Africa, deliberate conversations and actions must progress from the recommendation that will be reached. The, the role of youths in tackling insecurity cannot be overemphasized. And uh, the continent of Africa generally has been bedeviled with a lot of uh, insecurity ranging from terrorism, banditry, and even here in Nigeria, the choice of Nigeria is very strategic because as you are aware, uh, currently the, the country is faced with uh, an increase in insecurity uh, where lives and property are being destroyed and people are even being kidnapped. Uh, so far, uh, judging from the success of the, of the summit, it's been very uh, incredible. Uh, the African youth leaders have taken some very strategic decisions and positions on the need for them to go back to their respective countries and replicate uh, the essence of this summit. And the essence of the summit is just for us to dialogue among ourselves. Because as you are aware, uh, in, this, uh, in this continent, youth demography is over 65%. Therefore, if the country, continent must experience peace, the youth must be brought on board. And when you look at those who are even perpetrating this evil, this, uh, who are mostly involved in this uh, insecurity, they are the young people. When they are arrested, when the, uh, when the terrorists or Boko Harams are arrested, you'll see that those who are arrested are people within the age group. When those who are also affected by, the, by this dastard act, because when you kidnap a, a man for ransom, you, le you are leaving the man with either the wife and the children to go and hustle for money to pay. So those who are affected greatly by these uh, actions are also the young people. So on both sides, the youth in Africa are the receiving end. But as youth leaders, we must talk to ourselves and now go back to our respective countries to discuss with our colleagues on how to further sensitize our colleagues on the need to see uh, peace and security of our country as a priority. Mohamed Jinadu, Voice TV Nigeria.